Hey, hey, it's Aran here. In this tech tutorial, I want to tell you about a feature that you can add to your website, maybe your sales page, where you're going to create a button or an icon that when somebody clicks on it, it will automatically send them to your personal Facebook Messenger to send you a message so you can engage with them. Not your business profile, but your personal account. Now, the reason you want to do that is you want to give people a chance to communicate with you directly and engage with you on your personal profile. And this is something that you could do on your website, but there's another very important use case. And that is when you are trying to build your own Facebook group. This is one of the things that I use it for. So with Facebook and somebody joins your Facebook page or your Facebook group, you want to obviously increase the chances of conversion because they've just joined your Facebook group. Ideally, you collected their email address and I recommend you send them a welcome message. Now, the welcome message you want to do using a software called Text Blaze, which is what I use. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I will show you the specific use cases of how I do that as well. Now, here's the thing. When you send a messenger message to people on Facebook, chances are it goes to the message request, which is like the spam folder of Facebook. So in order to eliminate that, what I do is on the Facebook welcome post, which you can create it automatically, then what happens is that you can link that direct messenger link and you can tell them on the welcome message that if they haven't seen your direct personal welcome, click this button to say hi. And you're basically going to encourage them instead of having them having to go and dig out the message request and filter through any spam messages, they will click on this button and automatically be redirected to your Facebook Messenger so you can have the conversation. And if you send them a welcome message, this is extremely important that they get there because you want to keep that engagement going because that's how you're going to increase the chances of conversion. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and turn it to my virtual assistant who's actually going to show you how to do that button, whether it's on your website or link it on your welcome post. Hi there. Rose here. Here's how to find a Facebook Messenger direct link, which you can use as a button on your website or as a link on your Facebook group welcome post. First, go to Facebook, then go to your personal Facebook profile. In Iran's case, it's facebook.com slash iran.bukai. Now, what you're going to do is replace facebook.com with m.me and it should now show as m.me slash iran.bukai. This is what you can use as a direct link for your Facebook Messenger. And once clicked, it should look like this. And that's how you do it. Now that you know how to create this type of Messenger link slash button, I want to show you how to use it. So this is a welcome post in my Facebook group, .com Truths. If you go to .com Truths group .com, you'll be able to join. And you could see here, I said, if you're new to this group, please check your email inbox for welcome email uh, that has been sent and reply to that email to let me know you received it. This is something that I have set up uh, through a software called Group Collector, which is a topic for another tutorial as well. If you're interested in that, just leave the uh, comment Group Collector and I'll do a tutorial on that as well. Now, because basically when somebody joins my Facebook group, it automatically goes to my email software, basically. Now, I say here, also send me a direct message on Messenger. Let me know you've joined the group so we are connected. This is the direct link. And then when they click on this link, it automatically goes to Messenger. So that's how you do that. Now I'm going to turn it over back to my virtual assistant who's going to show you how to automate this welcome post. So every week when you have new members join in, this welcome post will automatically be posted. And this has been set up for months and it just automatically gets posted. Hi again, Rose here. Here's how to automate a welcome post on Facebook group for new members. Once you've logged in to your Facebook account on the left side of your screen, go to groups, or in this case, since I'll be using .com truths as a sample, I'll click it directly from the sidebar here on the left. Now that you're in your Facebook group, on the left side of your screen, under manage, you'll find admin assist. Go ahead and click on that. Admin assist will help you save time, protect your group, and accomplish more with its automatic action. What we're going to do next is scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find create post, or in this case, since Iran has already one set up, it's here at the top. Now, 
now. Let me switch to a test group I created so you'll see what it looks like creating a new post. After clicking on the add button, you'll have this little window open. Just click on continue and then choose repeating schedule. You can now customize your welcome post for your group. You can type in what you want by clicking on edit post. Let's use Iran's post as a sample. I'll copy this and paste it on a new group. Here is also where you can add your Facebook Messenger direct link. Once you're done, click on Save. And as it says here, Admin Assist will automatically tag new members at the end of your post. You also have the option to change the frequency of your post. Also, you can change the date and time of your first post. Once everything is set, click on Add to Admin Assist. And that's how you do it. Okay, so now you know how to create a welcome post and have that automated. You just have to do it once and it's going to be automatically happen every single week. I'm going to show you how I accept new members. So I have a message that I get here under member request and somebody is asking to join. And I've got a few buttons here. Number one, it's this button, which is GC. Now GC Connect or GC Approve, something like that. It stands for Group Collector. And then there's the Decline and then there's Send, which is sending them a message. They give me their email address as well. And this automatically gets sent to my email platform through Zapier once I click on this button. But before I click on this button, I actually hover over their name and then I click on message and then I send them something. So I say, hey, in this case, Michelle, and then I do forward slash approved. And then now I've got this whole message of approved your access to the Facebook group, blah, blah, blah. And I give them a welcome video as well to go to my YouTube channel and I ask them to subscribe. Then I click on enter and then I do PS and I send them a private message as well based on something that they told me if there is something relevant that I want to tell them to get the conversation going. And that's really good for getting the engagement going. Now, this particular automation is set up using a software called Text Blaze, which you can see right here. I simply click on new snippet and I can create the snippet with the automation. So you can see here forward slash approved and that's what I used. So that's how I use text blaze to automate their welcome messages as well. Now I'm going to click right here and it's automatically going to send them the welcome email through my email software. You can see it right here. The name has been approved. Now, in case I want to see her answers again, what I do is I go to the members area right here to click on members. I scroll to the new to this group or anything else. I click on the name or hover over the name. I click on it and then I scroll all the way down and I see view answers and then I see the answers again. So in case I accidentally approved them and I didn't want to, I didn't answer the questions properly or I didn't send her a proper message, I can st still see all the information here. So even though the template message is generic, I write a PS which is specific to that particular individual because they've obviously given me some information about them and I want to uh, build a relationship with them as well. If you want to see the welcome email that I send and also the free course that I give people when they join my Facebook group, all that stuff, you can just go to my Facebook group and join it as well, .comtruthsgroup.com and make sure you enter your email when you actually try to join because that's the only way it's going to be automated and you'll receive that course that way. That's how that process flows. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found value in this. Again, quick recap on what we discussed. I showed you how to set up a messenger button on your website. I showed you how to get the messenger button to put it on a welcome post on Facebook. As an extra little bonus, I also showed you the use case of the welcome post in my Facebook group and also the little hack on using text blaze to be able to automate the welcome message that you send to your members when they have first joined your Facebook group. So go ahead and implement those things. If you found value in this particular tutorial, please leave a comment with the word value. And uh, also, if you want to receive a copy of the templates of everything that I've just explained and showed you, I have that particular template available in my templates and coaching membership, which you are welcome to check out as well. If you go to aruntemplates.com, you'll be able to uh, check it out and see if it's open for you to join. Just so you're aware, the pricing for this membership is under $100 per year, not per month, per year. And you get a lot of templates for your website, your email marketing, and things like this as well. I include templates for all type of scenarios as well. So this video actually came about because I recorded another video for one of my members in my tech support membership, Karen, and I did a detailed video for her 
on how to get better engagement in her Facebook group. And based on that video, after you, she watched it, she told me that she has a problem because when she sends people direct message on Messenger, she's getting very little replies and she thinks it goes to the message request. And that's why this video was inspired to record to show Karen and anyone else that might be wondering how to eliminate that aspect where your Facebook messages end up actually reaching your new members so you can actually have that conversation. So if you wanna learn more, I have do have that video somewhere around here. And also you can check out the tech support membership by going to iran.link forward slash DCT. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, you'll see the videos around about here.